but personally I just cannot really bring myself to uh, drive this with TCF so I've made something that is relatively decent uh, but you can still run TC in it uh, TC1 map 5 is what I cooked up for it uh, Indianapolis uh, some call it the American Snetterton it is kind of like that very tricky very slippery very technical uh, all about traction here uh, not a lot of uh, corners where you really need that much rotation that you cannot get on the brakes so the setup generally aimed towards traction and uh, uh, making the nose kind of point where you want it to go is also very important also running one tc we definitely also want that extra traction uh very tricky circuit though a lot of really tricky corners i'm gonna give as always a breakdown on my references for uh the braking and such and then we'll send it for somewhat of a hot lap uh, nowhere near the pace of what the crazy aliens are doing with the no tc stuff but uh it should work relatively well, um, not sure how well it would work in the LFM bop. But either way, turn one, we are lining up on the left, breaking just before the 400 yard board, since we're in America. Uh, a little bit of throttle, then a lift, and then throttle again. Uh, careful not to have the rear step out here, we're braking. Uh, a little bit after the curve starts, trailing into the corner would be a little bit better there, could have braked a bit later. This one is flat out, uh, don't want to go over the curb though, here we're braking when the curb disappears on the left a little bit after, careful on the throttle, tap on the brakes, once again careful on the throttle, uh, and uh, don't oversteer like that, it's a bit tricky on cold tires, but want to use all the track on the exit there, uh, for this one, braking after the second to last crowd strike board, once again very careful on the throttle, a uh, little break or a lift is fine for this, a little break also for here. Uh, there's like a rubber line that ends there, we want to cut the apex a lot there. Third gear, short shift exit. And now this chicane is a very, very tricky, we're breaking like two car lengths I would say before. The 400 yard board I think it is. And here we're breaking just before the rubber line starts. We don't want to go too much on the outside as the track kind of cambers away from you. And uh, uh, you can lose a lot of time even though opening the corner sounds like the right thing to do. Uh, but that's a very messy lap. But uh, all right, so here's our setup. Uh, interesting things, I guess, is the toes. Uh, zero on the rear, slightly negative on the front. Uh, electronics wise, one TC, two ABS can probably go to 3TC if it's really sketchy and also ABS-3 is a little better in the last sector but a little worse in the first corner. Uh, mechanical grip wise, uh, very soft everything as is the meta currently. Um, some front spring but not too much and generally just everything very soft. As you can see damper wise though we didn't go for the full meta dampers, running some front dampers lower rear rebounds on the front to help with that uh, oversteer on throttle and uh, zero bump on the rear is pretty typical a uh, relatively low rate for a full wing lambo a lot of rear brake duct because the car does like to cook the rear tires so yeah that is the setup um probably can still use some work on it there is a technical maybe like a 0.5 if i really grind it out and for me that's not too bad but uh Either way, setup drives okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll leave you off with a hot lap and see you on the next one.